Hi everybody and welcome to my March Beer 52 mystery box opening. Um, I recorded this during a Twitch stream the other day so I thought I'd just piece it together with the introduction and put it up on YouTube for people to catch up with and see what's in this month's Beer 52 box. I hope you enjoy and if you like any of the beers um, let me know in the comments below. Take care, bye bye. Right, I'm back and I've got scissors. So this is the March 2020 Beer 52 box. I don't know what's in it yet, you can see it's not been opened. Um, so we'll find out what this month's beers are and what theme they've got, because every month they have a different theme of beers. Um, I think last month was New Zealand and the month before that was maybe the Alps. I think it was the Alps. The Alps was a good one, because I love snowboarding, I love being in the mountains, so the Alps one was kind of cool. I remember last month I didn't get any treats, they normally have like goodies in them. Ah, oh, they've got goodies back in them again. So what have we got this week? Well, this month. Uh, Pitta, Pitta Crisps, Sun Dried Tomato and Basil. Soffles. I'll eat those. They sound good, they sound good. Normally I have like chilli things, things with chilli on it. I'm allergic to chilli, so I can't have them. Brew London. I think it's a London month or something. That's the magazine it comes through. Brew London. I'm guessing that's what LDN is. What does it say? What does it say? Yeah, I think it's a London one. Right, they'll also be in here somewhere. If someone wants to direct message me, there'll be a code for a month's free beer. So if someone direct messages me and wants that code, I'll give you the code for a month's free beer. But then you have to cancel. Right. So the first one is by Harbour Brewery. It's an Indian Pale Ale. I think I've heard this before. What's this say? Brewed in North Cornwall. How is this in London then? That doesn't make any sense. It's from Cornwall. Cornwall's not London. It's probably as far away from the U in the UK as you can get. Rich, stuck, structured malt with citrus and spicy hops. Finish, robust, resinous, bitterness. That sounds cool. I think I've had it before. I recognise... Har I've drunk Harbour beers before. and I, re I don't normally drink pale ales. Pale ale's my thing. This is Calatio Session Pale Ale. And there's a massive dent in this can. It's come through dented. Which I can't really blame on Beer 52. It might be the, the Corio company that's delivered it. But that's a cool looking can. It's a cool looking can. What does this one say? God, it's dented everywhere. Standing on the shoulder of giants. Salt is a microbrewery on a mission to unify heritage and modern brewery. A homeland, the UNESCO village of Saltaire, was built by a super prosperous pioneer of workers' rights in the 1800s. Cool. Beer. What's that? That's a session pale ale, that one. Right, I've got a couple of bottles. This one's got a really cool lid on it. Before we do anything, check out that lid. Oh man, do you know what that reminds me of? Old records. If you remember old 45s and so on, and you've lost the middle of it, you used to put something like that on the turntable to hold the record in place. So this is all a bit Colin and Nico. This is a lager. I do like their logo. That looks cool. So does this say anything about it? No, all it says is store upright, serve at 6 to 8 degrees. So it's a modern quaff. A modern quaff? I don't know what quaff is. Oh, it means quaff, sip or quaff. So you're supposed to gulp it down. That's a gulpy downy one. Is that what they mean? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm understanding like a complete idiot. Where? I like this. This is the cool bottle. A city a ses di I oh, session IPA. I like the bottle and it cool, looks quite cloudy. Maybe it's been bottle conditioned. Jiggles, this is serious. This is serious time, Jiggles. This is beer time. This is serious. Don't scare me in beer time. <laughs> you don't want to see these poor bottles getting damaged, do you? You don't want to hurt the bottles if I jump. No, there's nothing written on there. It's just the ingredients. So it doesn't tell me much about that. Oh, I just realised on the front, on the front of the bottle, it tells me about it. Uh, easy drinking session IPA, filled to the brim with bright malts and floral hops. What else have we got? What else have we got? It's all cans now. This one's a bit of a big can. Magnitudes of Fault, New England session IPA. Exactly, Jiggles. We think we'll have ourselves some beer. That's a really cool looking can, actually. I like that. I like that. That looking can. Sessions New England IPA, brewed exclusively for Beer 52. Soft, juicy, and packed with citrus and tropical aromas. The perfect first quencher. That sounds good. Ingredients equals penis juice. 
You could probably sneak. I reckon there'll be some hipsters out there that would buy penis juice brew beer. Like, rather than using water, just use penis juice. And people would buy it. Like, wasn't there that woman the other year that um, sold breast milk um, ice cream? I'm sure there's a breast milk ice cream woman. Big Smoke, Jagged Sky, Pale Ale. I like, the, I like the cloud and the lightning bolt. That's a kind of like a cool little graphic. I imagine someone's probably got that tattooed to them somewhere. They've probably gone, oh, wow, that's amazing. Let's get a tattooed to me. Uh, doesn't say much about it. It's got a bird and some recycling stuff on it, though, which is kind of cool. And a mountain. I've just seen there's a mountain. I bloody love mountains, I do. I love mountains. I love mountains. Right, we've got four more to get through, so let's do this quickly, because I'm supposed to be playing video games. I think I've heard this one before. So this is a vocation brewery dirty pilsner. So it's not been filtered, so it's going to have a little bit of um, murkiness to it. What's this say? Strong pilsner meets IPA in a glorious head on crash of flavour. Dirty pilsner is unfiltered and dry hopped with outrageous quantities of our favourite US hops. Our beer is naturally hazy because filtering kills the flavour. Never pasteurised, store cool and drink fresh. Ready, ready for a joke? So this, this is pasteurize. That's a good joke. That's another dead joke. Red Rye. Bianca Road Brewery. That's got mountains in the background as well. They've all got mountains in the background. What does this one say? Nothing. This one doesn't say anything. It's just, it's just a beer. This is a Red Rye beer. So it's going to be like a ready color. Awesome. Right, what else we got? What else we got? What's that face mean? Was it for my crap joke? Was it for my pasteurized joke? I was talking about this. Um, I was talking about this earlier, actually, with one of my friends at work. Weirdly, I was talking about this specific beard. Beer? Beard? This specific beer. Um, so this is a shakedown by um, Tiny Rebels. So there's a pub near me, probably about 500 meters away from me, um, called the Dead Pigeon. Gives away a bit where I live, because that's got where it is on it. But the Dead Pigeon, just not, not too far from me, and they do Tiny Rebel beers at the moment, and we're talking about this one. Um, Shakedown Mango Juice. So this is a mango, a mango IPA. So that'll be cool. I do like beers with fruit in it. Mark Suspensers do a cherry wheat beer, and it's incredibly good. And then we've got Fields of Cream. Cream Soda Pale Ale. Sounds absolutely awful. Sounds like one of the worst things ever. Cream soda, pale ale. That sounds like ass. Get ready to be transported back in time for this modern interpretation of the nostalgia filled drink of many childhood memories. Cream soda! A simple pale ale uh, base infused with classic flavors of sweet vanilla ice cream. Right, that's the beer box done. There are all the beers. There's some nice ones. There's some good ones there. I wait, can't wait to actually try. Except for that vanilla, that, um, that last one. That last one sounds awful. So we'll, we'll, we'll forget about that one. Well, I'll write that one off the face of the planet. Anyway, back to my wine. This, uh, cheers, everybody.